So if you want to extend your WordPress blog even further, you use what they call WordPress plugins. Now, plugins essentially are modular type pieces of code that you can add to your blog, and they extend the capabilities. And so they're used for lots of different reasons. There's a plugin for just about anything. Some of them are used for SEO, which is search engine optimization. Some are used for different types of theming, just ways that the page is dealt with. There's even ones that have enhanced spell check as well. If you want to kind of see what's available for plugins, just do a simple uh, Google search for WordPress plugins. When you do, you'll land on this page called the plugin directory. Now you see that WordPress right now has almost 10,000 plugins available. Just about all these plugins are free, although there are some ones that charge. Anyone you find here is going to actually be available for free. Now it's also important to know before you get started that plugins are not available on the free WordPress.com blogging hosting solution that they offer. These are only available for a self-hosted blog. The reason is because it requires you to upload files. It may require you to actually do some server, server configuration. So if you're doing plugins, you're going to make sure that you're a little technical or maybe you have someone that can help you out. When you get a plugin installed, basically what you do is you take the file, usually it's a folder, and you upload that to the plugins folder on your WordPress installations. And typically that's located under WP content slash plugins. You'll notice there's always a few there they start you off with, and you can add to that as well. If we want to take a look, let's take a look at where the plugins are found in the actual dashboard. Now this is my self-hosted blog. The way that I get to my plugins is just on the left here, we have an option called plugins. Now, you'll notice that I have a lot of plugins on here. I actually have 14 turned on right now. And I'm doing different things. Some are for spam protection, some are for an audio player. You know, we have all kinds of different options here. Some are enhancing my RSS feeds. And then we also have things that kind of aid me with things like Twitter. So I have a retweet button that gets put in there as well. There's lots going on here, so it's kind of tough to really see what's going on. But you'll notice that we have a breakdown of all my plugins up top, my active plugins, ones that are inactive, ones that have upgrades available as well, because that's one nice thing about these plugins. They actually change quite often, and actually the code becomes, maybe there's a security issue, or they've just enhanced the code in some way. Instead of you having to go find the new files, upload them back to your server, they have a built-in upgrade functionality. Looking at mine, I can see that I'm a little behind on doing some of those upgrades. You want to ensure when you do, do use plugins that you upgrade them always, because the biggest thing that always happens is there are security exploits that get figured out, and if you don't have those shored up, you don't have the latest code, your blog may actually be at risk. Plugins are a great way to extend your blog, very advanced feature. Once again, just Google WordPress plugins to kind of get started and see what's out there and available. If you want to learn more about WordPress, just check out any of these videos available above.